What is going on everyone? Commodore Laz here today bringing to you my live reaction to Haikyuu Manga Chapter 301 titled Little by Little. Now, shout out to Gab, let me know the chapter that came out. I saw Gab's message on the Discord saying the chapter came out. I'm about to go make lunch and everything. I'm like, you know what? Let me go enjoy the sandwich. Let me enjoy some tea. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to read the Haikyuu Haipu by Furudata Sensei. And um, man, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I the only thing I do know about this chapter is the color page, which has like you know Kageyama and uh, my boy Kenma right in the front. You know it, it looks really damn cool. I want to see what like the translation two four was because obviously of course it was in the Japanese. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm surprised though that 301 got the color page aside from 300, considering you know 300th chapter of a series. You know you would think after every hundredth chapter, you know it'd be some kind of importance to it at the very least. You know and it kind of you know acknowledge the milestone, but. I guess uh, it wasn't the case for Furudate. Maybe Furudate wanted to stay for 301. I don't know. But uh, let's see what's going to go on in this chapter, man. Uh, we're closing in soon, probably on the end of the first set, since we're now going, I think it was 20 to 18 or something like that. I gotta go back and look at the score and stuff. Maybe it'll show here. But let's jump into it, guys. 301, the Haikyuu Haipu. And here we go, man. Haikyuu breaks through the 300th chapter mark. A silent, heated showdown. This looks so beautiful because it's, oh, man. This actually looks so beautiful. You have the two setters themselves, man, right in front. And I saw this on Twitter, man. But oh my god, this look, this looks so beautiful. And you see, like, with the net like facing right in front of them, it's oh man, or like the net coming down. I don't know, you know how. You, I think it's the net coming down. But anyways, center color for the white hot attack and defense showdown against Nakama. The battle at the trash heap. Three oh one, little by little. Alrighty, let's get into it, man. The two setters about to go at it. So Someone, someone's about to get some greatness uh, in this chapter. Who is it gonna be, man? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> nah, nah, nah. We gotta pull it out, bro. We gotta pull it out, bro. You start a chapter. Hold on, man. You you see who's there? You see who's that, my boy? Yo, top one, dude. No, bro. Right away, Furudate knows me. Furudate knows what I want. I want more Tendo, man. I want more Satori greatness. Dude. <laughs> Yo. Are they watching the game live? He's watching a Goshiki. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That was too close. Kardasuno definitely got spooked for a moment there. The guest monster, baby. I know, right? Why can't they all just watch it on their own screen? <laughs> Hold up, Tendo and Goshiki are watching the spring enter high. Yo, man. Look at my boy, though. Ah, oh, my God. I know we've seen like, a little glimpse of him before, but I, oh, man, I've been seeing him play. Like, guest monster. What's more, I really hate it when, even when you should, even when you know you should have scored, that feeling of, oh, it's going to get saved, overpowers the feeling of, oh, of, yes, I scored. Did you see the game yesterday, Tendo? The Nerozaki match was amazing. I don't think he watched it. It was... Then again, cool as they may be, I think we're pretty good at ourselves, right? Well, I hate those twins. And that guy with monstrous core stability. Yo, wait. Yo. Hold on. He faced Suna? Oh, you're telling me some details. Now, oh, man. I want. Oh. Now I really wanted to see like a flashback or something between Inarazaki and Shiro Oh, man. Well, I hate those twins and the guy with the monstrous core stability. So. And he has problems against freaking uh, Rintaro then. Interesting. Nakama, was it? They're personally, personally, they're a team I de most definitely don't want to play against. Watching them play, however, is just the best. Karasuno's having such a hard time, aren't they? Their attacks just don't score. I think they're the type to get worked uh, up about about it. Well, are they? Are they having a hard time? It must be so hard. Hang in there. Not that I care anyway. <laughs> like, I love the men. <laughs> Gochiki just like, yo, get the hell away from me. Improving the quality of your def of, our, of your defense takes a toll on your stamina, right? Mm. But look at that face, dude. But saving the spike isn't the pinnacle of flawless defense defense play. Easy go, Shiki. Look at him. And then Sukishima coming down, bro. We're gonna Thor's hammer. Right, right. Is he gonna get it? Oh, but yo, Kuros makes a stop. One touch. Hmm. Counter. Hold on. Okay, so, so Kageyama made the stop. Made the stop there. Center Kageyama gets the ball in the air, and Ishinoya runs in for the follow up. Thanks. All right. Asahi son, left, left. Ready, set. You see everyone getting ready. There's no. There's nowhere to hit it. Doesn't mean he's got a hit where you guys are bracing his anticipation. Blow him away. 
Lock Crusher, yo! Asai just ripped it right through Curl. And you see like Kai and the freaking Yamamoto just like looking back. They know there's no way you're stopping that. He just made up another weirdo, uh, weirdo nickname. I see how it is. And they're frustrated, man. The ace just went in, boys. Yo. Hold up, wait. No, oh, they got the point. They got the point. Of course, block. They got to try and receive it. But no, no way, man. They already they got the point, bro. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yes, nice kill. Nice, nice Asahi. So 20 to 17 was the score. It was 2016, I think I was talking about before. Nice, nice Asahi. Push, push, Asahi. Give us another. Just now, he timed the hit uh, at that fleeting split second where the blockers were about to drop back down. That's what I thought, too. Damn, Karasuno's arm to the teeth. In yesterday's match, he was so exhausted in the late game, but still pulled that stunt. I thought it might have just been a fluke, and I had my doubts, but I guess when he's backed into a corner, he really does pull it off. Fukunaga from the left, nice course. Karasuno's cuckoo crazy, I'm telling you, you know it too. <laughs> look, at, look at his face, I love this man. It's just that the first year combo takes the cake for being as crazy and, uh, as crazy as crazy gets and hogs all the attention, but everyone else on their team is kind of crazy too. I don't think that the, the, the lot of Karasuno want to hear that coming from Tendo-san. <laughs> Yo, this is a nice panel though for uh, Kuro. Nakuma's big server, Kuro takes the next serve. Karasuno will want to end this quickly. So see like the current rotation right now. Looks like, the, okay, so 20 to 18. Looks like the winning the first set is going to be a bit of a long shot after all. It'll make things easier down this track if we win it. But if we're going to drop the set, then it's probably better to hang on for a little longer and extract some more information. The rotation for the second set is... You see Kuro making the shot. Daichi coming in with the save. Sorry, they're definitely ramping up their plays. And Kagawa sets up, but then you see Hayaba coming in. Stop it, Kagiyama! Shove it, Lev. Go, Lev. You can't win when it comes to technical skill. You can't win there, but force your way through with your height and power. And Kageyama pushes it through. Ah, but Yamamoto makes the stop, yo. You see Curl's face, he's like, hmm? Cause, yo, oh my god. I can't believe he actually got right by the Lev. Kenma. And Kenma coming in, makes the set. Oh, he moved. Koza may move with move speed. It's not an underarm. It sets right back to Lev, and Lev gets it. Damn, that's high. Yeah, the crowd just goes wild. Lev, Ochka. Go, go, Lev. Whoa, go, go, Lev. And it's 20 to 19 for Carcino. Push it, push it, Lev. Hey, I thought that little kitty cat was a type to play by the book, but he's quite the daredevil, too. That one was a bit low. Okay, Kozume san, you move after all. Well, I mean, I am a living being after all. But I have made some observation from Kageyama because, you know, Kama doesn't really look like the flashy person moving around and all that stuff, you know, doing like all flashy plays. And just seeing something like that from him is like, oh, you, you, you're human too, <laughs> at the end of the day. Oh, my next page, 17. Kozume also possesses superior skills in ball control. Up till now, his teammates have created opportunities for him to make use of that skill. However, from the play just now, he is starting to create those opportunities for himself. And as you, as you advise, uh, advance from the, your victories, your points grow stronger. Kemba is left with no choice but to get stronger too, man. So seeing like the previous opponents there, like uh, Suguru from Nohibe. But that's not all there is to it today. There are times where you get pulled along by your opponents. You're not losing to Kageyama, Kenma. The hell are you on about? That's that bad, huh? <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, oh, what? Putting me in the same group as a guy just, as hardworking as that is just rude. But whenever I see I witness something amazing happen... The words you can do it to inside of me becomes just a little louder. Yo. And you see them like looking on afterwards and like, Yamamoto's like, what? And Kuro's like, hmm. I guess that's just par, uh, par for, the, for the course. There's no way Nekuma hasn't also changed from how they were three months ago. We got this. I've got a second, I've got a good feeling about this first serve. Kuro's second serve. That the other, oh, there's nothing left. That has the other chapter. Damn it, why would you go out there? I thought there'd be more. There is... Oh, there's no more, man. Right there, man. Kuro's about to go in and go stop the chapter. But, yo, that was a really good, that was a really good chapter. I mean, the Tendo stuff... Yo, this... The Tendo stuff guaranteed this already to be a 9. Um, everything else, though, in it was dope as well. 
you know, Lev doing his thing too. Kageyama, like, getting by him. But then, you know, Lev eventually on the comeback, you know, when uh, Yamamoto made the save afterwards. Kemba making the play back to him. Uh, it was really dope. <clears throat> but, I mean, we're getting closer and closer. It was like three to four points that were racked up here. Um, the pacing probably is going to pick up eventually. I would say, like, in the next couple chapters, maybe three chapters. I would say the first set's going to be done. But... It's really cool, man. Just, you know, seeing that little thing with Kenma, you know, like, even, like, if I can't live up to the standards of what this guy does, or, you know, I can't uh, be placed in the same group as somebody else, you know, who works every single day compared to me who plays, you know, video games, like, th at 3 in the morning and all that. But hearing those words that, you know, I can do it too. If that guy can do it, you know, you can do the same thing as well. That lights a fire in somebody at any time, regardless of where your skill level's at. You could be A1, you can be, you know, the fir your first year playing, it doesn't matter. Um, so I really like that stuff though from Kemba, but really good chapter this week. Uh, color page was fire. Everything was fire in this chapter and uh, shout out to my boy. Wait a minute. Let me get the volume again, bro. Shout out to my man, Tendo Satori. Furidate is a good person as they are. And I always appreciate that anytime I can get my boy in a chapter, it's always going to be guaranteed flames. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. what did you guys think of Haikyuu this week, guys? Um, what are your favorite moments from the chapter? For me, I don't know. The Tendo stuff definitely was my favorite stuff, but I really do like the thing with Kenma and just like the little motivation we see from him and his character and everything there. So, uh, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like the video, you know, like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys are here uh, for the first time. You want to see more of my content uh, covering weekly of Haikyuu. If you want to do that, consider subscribing. Uh, click on the notification bell so that way you know when the Haikyuu greatness for me drops. You're here for it. And uh, with that all being said, I'll catch you guys next week for chapter 302. Of that Haikyuu Haipu man. So Commodore Les signing off. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care. Stand up.